We're given a function of x and asked to find the values of x for which the slope of that function equals zero. So the first thing to realize is that if we want to find the slope of a curve, we need to take its derivative. So we're going to take this original function and we're going to find its derivative just using the product rule. And the product rule says if we have x to some power, we can bring that power on x down, multiply that power by the function, and then subtract one from that power. So in this case, we have two x squared. If we want to find this derivative, we take this two, multiply it by this two to get four, and then we're going to subtract one from that power to get x to the first power, or just x. Next term, we have 20x, or 20x to the first power. We multiply that 20 by that first power. That just gives us 20. And then we reduce that power of 1 to a 0, and we're finished. For this last term, the derivative of 9 is simply 0, because a derivative of any constant is 0. Now we can clean this up just a little bit. Our first term is 4x. Our second term, because x to the 0 is simply 1, the value of our derivative is just 4x minus 20. But we're not quite finished yet, because we're trying to find the values for x for which the slope equals 0. Well, we found a function for the slope right here here, that's what a derivative is. If we want to know where this thing equals zero, then we need to replace the slope or the derivative of this function with a zero. This gives us an equation that we can solve for x. I'll add 20 to both sides. I'll divide both sides of the equation by 4 to get x equals 5 is our final answer to that problem. Now I would encourage you to graph this function, take a look at it to confirm that what we got was true. I don't know exactly what this function looks like, but it should be a parabola opening upwards, and when x equals 5, the slope of this curve is going to be zero. Okay, another quick one there. Again, I hope that that helped you out, and I hope to see you tomorrow for the next problem of the day.